Crafty, we want to show the subscribers of the YouTube channel some different Y patterns and some different teaching things. So let's show them the first thing where we step out, back up with violence, and slide across on the Y, showing us some good flow and movement. We're going to do three either side, the tr traditional starting point. Here we go. Let's come out just a little less this time, a little less, right about there. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's go to the other side now. Two more like that. And last one. Now, Benny, unfortunately, sometimes guys are in alone on you. They open stick fake, and as you're retreating, you have to drive a butterfly in case he five holes you. But you still have to stay in the deke after that. So show us what it looks like where we simulate an early biting on a fake. Here we go. All right, two more to that side. Last one. All right, let's go three the other side. So even though you bid on it, you still have to stay in it. Two more. Last one. Awesome. Now, I was talking to you last night at the clinic how Marc-Andre Fleury quite often would discourage a guy that loves to go five hole by doing a dynamic VH on the retreat on the breakaway. So let's show the viewers what happens. We do the Marc-Andre Fleury when you put that one knee down to help discourage the guy away from the five hole. Two more to that side. Get her down there. Get her touching the ice. All right, three to the other side. Really put that knee down, suck him in to get away from that five hole. Excellent. Okay, now let's do the Euro breakaway that we've talked about where you step in here, you back up, and when you get there, you're gonna go straight back in that, but make sure your belly lands every time and stack your trapper on this. It's common with European goalies. So you back up and you slide and you step it up over top like that. Let's do two more like that. Excellent, one more on this side. Nice, all right, let's do three on the other side. Really get that belly down on the ice, like sell it on the belly. Two more. Last one. All right, now we've talked before how on the off-center breakaways that we still have the why. But let's take a look at how it changes. You don't need to challenge quite as much and you're still gonna either go back to the short side with a deke or you have to push long ways. So let's take a look at what that Y looks like now. So let's do three short side deeks. So a guy comes in, you step out to challenge, get some momentum built up, and you back and you seal on the short side. Let's do two more like that. You step out, back up hard, and you seal short side. Last one, just like that. Excellent. Now. 
the guy decides to go to the far side, you have a long way to slide. So as he comes in, you challenge to force a little bit of a deke, and then you're going to slide all the way over there. Let's try two more on that side. Here we go. Has to be powerful, momentum driven. Last one. All right. Now we talk about what we do when a guy tries to do a cutback on you. And it's the same philosophy. Let's look on this side, where a guy decides to try to cut to the middle and then he cuts it back to the short side. So if we look at this pattern here, jump in the net for a second. You're basically simulating a guy that comes in, he slides to the middle, and he tries to cut back to the short side, and you seal him up. So this is a cutback drill with this type of a pattern. Let's see what that looks like. Three good reps. Two more like that. Ready? Here we go. boy, Fix your net. Let's do one last one. Last one. Quick change. Nice. Right in this first clip, we got senior hockey, Strathroy Jets. It's a line rush, two on one. Great goal, looks unstoppable. But let's break it down and see what we got here. In the neutral zone, you take a quick snapshot and you see it's a two on one. You take a look to your right to see the off puck guy. He's gonna be a threat, not a lot of back pressure. Now, if you see here, the pass is already halfway to the receiver. Goalie gets a late jump. That's the problem, late jump. Here, point shot with a nice rebound placement. This is an elite goaltending skill. Defensive zone draw, puck is lost, gets back out to the point, guy cranks one, and the goalie puts it in a good spot. Now when you first watch it, you might think, wow, that's not a good spot. But when you slow this down, watch what the goaltender does here. He recognizes there's a lost draw. He's looking around, surveying the zone. He's gonna take a quick peek over his shoulder to see where the danger is, see where his open guy is. And when this puck comes in, he knows he doesn't wanna put the puck off to the sides, but by putting it out to that guy in the high slot, now we get an easy zone exit. Elite goaltending there. Protecting your limits just means don't let the puck come through your blue crease. And in this third clip, some cool stuff happening here. We first watch it, it really looks like a great save on a dangerous slot shot. But I think this goalie causes his problems, and you'll see here when we watch it in the replay. It looked like a great save. So, zone entry. Now, watch him. Puck's in the corner. Perfect time to take the quick look off the puck to assess danger. Gets in the reverse, but he lets the puck come through his blue crease. And it ends up, of course, on a guy's stick in front of the net. Whoa, great save. Well, not really. There was half a net there. When you watch it at full speed, looks like a great save. That one just hit him. 